Well, hey everybody, I'm Paul Gross. Let's get you updated on the forecast. High wind watch continues for the Thumb counties here. That includes Sanilac and St. Clair County. We have a winter storm watch for the north central part of the state. They could get six to ten inches of snow. And by the way, just issued by the Weather Service, a lakeshore flood advisory for the shoreline areas here of Lake Huron as that strong north to northeast wind pushes water toward the shore. So a lot of things happening over the next 24 hours, 36 hours. So let's go through it. Now this is four o'clock this afternoon. I think the model might be a little too far east with this rain. I think it's going to be more like west of US 23 essentially. But regardless of what time it comes in, well the timing is important because of the rush hour, but regardless of that, we have pounding rains coming in tonight. Maybe even a little thunder and lightning. Look at this. This is pounding rain here by 11 o'clock tonight and then you'll see showers and waves of rain coming in through tomorrow. This is eight o'clock in the morning. One batch goes through maybe a small break for some of us, but another batch comes in. But watch the rain snow line as we get late in the day. It starts its move eastward and by the time we get into tomorrow night, yeah, it's snowing and it's gonna be snowing pretty good in some spots, especially downwind of Lake Huron here. So essentially this is gonna be a process. Now here's Friday at 5 a.m. Still some lingering snow in the area, but look what happens just in time for opening day. We clear it all out, should get some sunshine for the game, but it's going to be windy and cold. So here's the four zone forecast. We're talking about potential for snow through Friday morning in our metro zone. We're not talking about a lot, especially to the south, but uh, generally maybe a slushy inch or perhaps two to the north. But overall, this is not a big snow for the metro zone and even less for the south zone where it's probably going to be under an inch, uh, six tenths of an inch here from Monroe, uh, just a little bit better than that in Dundee. And then you get to the further west where the snow changes over earlier. You get to places uh, like Adrian and Onstead where it's maybe more like a couple of inches west zone as you get to the north and to the west. Look at this. Some spots could pick up three or four inches again of a wet slushy type of a snow. And then in our north zone again with the enhancement from uh, Lake Huron, there's some spots between four and five inches here in the northern thumb and uh, basically the rest of us down to the south places like northern Macomb and Oakland County. It's looking like two, three inches, maybe four. The model could be overdoing it a little bit here in northern Oakland County, but you kind of get the idea. This is going to be a one to two inch, uh, perhaps a two to three inch for most of of us and again a heavy wet snow. So today uh, again the rain really starts increasing late today through tonight. Tomorrow a cold raw windy day with rain changing to snow by tomorrow night. Look at temperatures barely moving tomorrow. So it all ends by Friday morning and so we are in good shape for the game except it's just windy and cold. Wind chills for opening day in the upper 20s. But then look at this weekend. Lots of sunshine, mid to upper 50s on Saturday, mid 60s on Sunday. Passover begins Monday evening with a high temperature of 71 degrees.